this right here is amazing hey guys what's up it's adrian welcome back i hope you're doing great so we are finally going to make my sorrel you've seen my how to clean sorrel video and you have seen us go to pick sorrel at a sorrel farm now it's time to actually make this sorrel let's get into it added my pot with water i'm going to put my burner on high now that it's on high you want to get a rolling simmer once you get that you can then add all of the ingredients now you don't have to wait until it's simmering so what i'm going to do i'm going to add three bay leaves now i'm going to add my cloves now that i've added my cloves you can then add your sorrel so i'm gonna add my sorrel now please be sure to properly clean and wash your sorrel again links in the description below so now you can add your spices so i'm gonna add cinnamon now you can use cinnamon sticks for this i just prefer the cinnamon powder because you don't have to fish the cinnamon stick out but remember you have to strain your sorrel as well so i mean it's the same thing I'm going to add bitters, just a few dashes. Now, the alcohol from this is going to evaporate and you're just going to remain with the flavor. Now, I'm going to add vanilla essence. Again, I explained what vanilla essence is. This is something we use in Trinidad in cakes, pastries, and ice cream. Don't add vanilla extract because it's going to be overly overpowering. Now, you're going to add aniseed extract one cup of that and fun fact a cup of this is actually a teaspoon so what you're going to do now you're going to allow this to simmer once it simmers for i would say possibly 15 minutes after it simmers you leave it to cool down don't remove anything and you're going to allow the water to seep into the sorrel for allowing your sorrel to remain in the water for it to cool down is that you want to extract as much flavor as possible because i mean we did so much work with cleaning the sorrel we want to get as much flavor as possible so a lot of people they tend to boil it twice i am not going to do that because i want to get all the flavor out at once and it's just less work and i mean why boil it twice great so this cool down now i am going to show you what it looks like because it is the most beautiful dark red color i bottled it out so i'm gonna show you it and i'm gonna take a pour so sit down enjoy it with me i'm excited i allowed the sorrel to cool and what i did i bottled the sorrel up i got actually four of these bottles these are 750 ml so i bottled these up for you guys to see because i wanted you to realize well not realize i wanted you to see that this could actually be an excellent gift so one bottle of sorrel and one bottle of punch creme for your relatives loved ones anyone as a gift and they are going to appreciate it because it was made with love and i mean who doesn't love sorrel and punch creme? i mean come on it's the holidays we know and you can't have a trinity christmas without sorrel so there you go right so here's what i did i placed ice in my mason jar because i mean why am i going to use another glass that is not transparent i mean you want to see what this sorrel looks like as you can see it turned a beautiful dark red can't get richer than this i'm gonna crack it now and i know you guys spoke in the punch gram about the punch gram video saying that you didn't get to see the paw so i'm gonna show you the paw cracked it open get my mason jar up and i'm gonna show you the paw doesn't that look fantastic right so immediately after opening the bottle you actually get a really floral fragrant scent which is excellent i mean it just screams christmas let's have a taste this right here is amazing i'm not going to use my favorite word wow because i know you guys say i say too much but this is awesome you get bits of the clove you get the bay leaf you get the different essences that i would have used but it's not overpowering and it's not extremely sweet i don't like sorrel that's almost like syrup you actually want to get the flavor of the hibiscus leaf or 
petal because I mean it's it's a flower. This right here is awesome. This screams a Trini Christmas. I just can't get enough. It's that good. I mean, come on guys, you have to try it. Wow. That's it for today guys. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. You're awesome for doing that don't forget down in the description below is going to be our sorrel picking video and how to clean sorrel because i mean come on it's important you know how to clean your sorrel and how to prepare it before making this awesome drink right here